Um, okay, people, hold on a second. Um, okay, so I found that my old No Limits Editor tutorial for beginners wasn't useful enough, so here I am, and I am creating a new one. This one with commentary, surprisingly enough. Uh, so, the same story dollars, and I can't wait for the second. And when it's going to come out. Uh, it's going to be the same basic track as it was before. Um, so again, yeah, so you see here up here in segments you have multiple ones. You need to focus on track, station, transport, lift, and brake. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put station. See this thing right here? Ignore this. This is add vertex before start. You don't want this to end. That's what you want. List the station however long you want. Uh, this blue dot here, if you click on it, you get this thing. It allows you to modify it, like all this crazy stuff. You'll see more of that in a minute. Um, now for lift. Now, many people put like one segment there and then another, but this is more beginners. So I'm just going to do two segments. So just put a lift any height you like. Okay. Once you get so uh, it's in your liking, take another segment and tie it off like this. Okay. Um crucial. You need to make sure the top is smooth. Otherwise you'll just have this nasty bump at the top. Okay. I recommend you follow along with me so you know what exactly you're supposed to be doing. Now, let's just see, there's this. Now, do that. Now, do this and put it down like this, okay? Now, here's something you need to do make sure that the drop is smooth. That's where these things come in. So, I just want to see, I'm using these to make the drop nice and smooth. It's crucial that you do. Otherwise, your coaster is going to have tons of nasty jerks and bumps in it. Now, making a hill. Do the same thing you did with the lift, but do it in one segment, not two. Two segments will most likely put a jerk in it. You don't want two segments unless you're doing banking, which will come in a separate tutorial. So now as you can see, just put in some hills. Like so. I will make a support and a advanced before I go into more advanced details and... Basically, from now on, tutorials are going to have commentary. I find that tutorials with commentary help people more than tutorials without commentary. Okay, so I'm just going ahead and I'm placing some hills. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, here's actually a pretty crucial part that I think I should add in. Um, and that's to make a curve. Just do it. Curving is really simple. Do that. Make the curve nice and smooth. It's ideal to put a curve at the top of the hill. That way then you can show that I have enough so you can go through the rest of the circuit. Okay, just like that. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Um so I just decided to go ahead and finish up the coaster. Or most of it. Now for braking. You just click on brake segment and boom. That's it. Okay? That's how you create a brake segment. Now you can double click on it and adjust it to your liking, but I'll go more into that and again, it's a tutorial. Anyway, now for connecting, sometimes people will line up the track perfectly and are wondering why it says the track must be a closed circuit when they try to test it. That's because, first of all, choose transport. You're going to need to do that. Uh, now, if you hit C, you can connect, but the easiest way is to go under edit. Now, see where it says connect? Click on that. Now it's connected. Okay. Now just adjust it so that the curve is nice and smooth. And boom, there's your curve. And that's how you create a basic no limits coaster. Now an example of what you can do, let me find one that I can show you without actually uh really don't want to show you guys that one. Um this one, this one's just one that I decided to whip up incredibly quickly. 
it's nothing much. Actually, no, that one should be shown in advance. Hang on a second. Let me find a basic one, a really basic one. Uh, excuse me for a second. Okay, after a long time of searching, I think I finally found one that would be good for an example. This one is one that I decided to whip up really quickly. Uh, I don't think this will be shared with YouTube considering how many jerks this track has. Um, it was... Although I think it's one of my best ones, there are tons of flaws with it. It's not really realistic in any respect. But, honestly, you can end up creating stuff like this if you just practice. In this game, it's quite a learning game. You try a learning curve. You really need to learn how to use the game in order to create amazing ghosts. But that's the beginner's tutorial. Um, so... Yeah, this one was with commentary, and I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, so, yeah. This is Andrew's Let's Plays, signing out.